this real quick. This isn't planned, I promise. Okay. So I just wanted to say that like all y'all have totally touched my heart tonight. Like I was over there bawling in the corner. Like I'm not even kidding. I was bawling over there because I love you all. Alright, so. <laughs> okay, I'm Bailey. I'm Autumn. I'm Ainsley. And I'm Hallie. We're from North Platte High School. And this poem is titled, Said No Woman Ever. I would make up every day in hopes that an immature freshman boy will tell me that I look really tired and sick the one day that I forget to. I hope that everyone stares at my butt whenever I wear leggings or say that I am just asking for attention. When in reality, I was just too lazy to put on jeans this morning. That if I don't want to be in a relationship, I'm not fulfilling my role in society. And if I do, then I'm just like, like every other girl. As if that's a bad thing. Said no woman ever. It's my favorite thing when I have to go to Walmart and buy a six dollar pack of tampons. While narrowly avoiding all of the middle-aged men looking at it in my hand. As if it's something to be ashamed of. As if it's something we have control over. That whenever I'm having a bad day, someone automatically assumes they have cracked the code by simply suggesting it's my time of the month, said no woman ever. I love how girls are always shown like they need to be saved. As if we're a damsel in distress. Just waiting for a hero. If a girl makes the first move, she's too full of herself. And if a guy does, he's asserting his male dominance, said no woman ever. I love that whenever I wear a skirt, I know, I know that I'm going, going to be a target for suggestive comments since I'm basically asking for it. I love how whenever I wear a bikini, I'm either a slut or, or way a too fat to be wearing something like that. How whenever someone sees a girl's body, the reaction is judgment. She's too fat. Too bony. I'd smash. As if we're an object. Not a person. Said no woman ever. It's the greatest when I have to shave four times a week because, because God forbid, anyone finds out that legs actually grow hair. It's so awesome that ladylike is still a commonly used phrase. As, as if there's, there's only one kind of lady. When the girl in my English class looks at me with a disgusted look as I answer yes to the question. Are you a feminist? As if being a feminist isn't about equality. And respect. I just love it when I read an article about a teenage girl getting raped. By a family member or a close friend. And all I can think about is, what if I forget my pepper spray in my car? What if I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time? What, what if, if I'm next? Then no woman ever. I love it when the articles that pop up on my Facebook timeline think it's statistically accurate to refer to over half of the world's population as a minority. That I always hear things about how girls, girls should be supporting girls, but never how people, people should support, support people. people. I love that whenever I try to stand up for what I believe in, I get told that my opinion is irrelevant. And then I'm just overreacting. Or being too emotional. In the most ironic way possible. I love that it's 2018 and I still have to hear about women defending equality and standing up for a person's right to exist and right to be a human. Said, said no, no person, person ever. ever.